नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस वीक विद पंशी डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक एंड डॉक्टर हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड वेलकम हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल एंड वेलकम थैंक यू वेरी मच नमस्कार सो आई एम सो सो हैप्पी दैट वी आर मीटिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर दिस शो इन आवर स्पेशल इंटरेक्शन विद दिस वीक एंड एज वी बिगिन दिस न्यू ईयर देर इज अ रोलर कोस्टर ऑफ इमोशनल हैपनिंग एवरी टाइम एंड आई वुड Uh, seek your uh, impressions about the way uh, one of course um, prime minister narendra modi lost his mother but the way he took it and he continued his um, uh, task of the day of inaugurating uh, uh, the train and so talk to me about and you have personally known him also so well uh, i think uh, we all feel very <coughs> a very um, sorry to hear the uh, passing away of uh, hiraba at uh, age 100 100 uh, she was a great uh, mother a great woman and uh, really uh, whatever uh, success of the narendra bhai uh, prime minister narendra modi is is all credit goes to hiraba because hiraba what i understand that from the history that uh, or um, i'm sh- and also <coughs> the prime minister himself has uh, uh, kind of uh, recanted that story that um, mother they, they were a very lower middle class uh, family father passed away after father passed away the mother is one who raised all the children and she worked very hard and uh, surprisingly uh, 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 at age 100 before she died she used to do all her work herself and that shows that um, she was blessed by god and i uh, we all feel sorry our prayers are with uh, uh, prime minister narendra bhai modi as well as uh, all his uh, brother and sisters and uh, whole family and uh, we we god bless uh, hiraba and uh, rest in the peace and will will never forget as uh, such a uh, great uh, mother who has given a, a great son uh, and that is a uh, good luck for the india and uh, prime minister narendra modi is the best thing happened to india so we all uh, will miss her and will uh, we 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 share our sorrow, sorrow and um, and our uh, heartfelt condolences with the prime minister modi ji very well said dr sahab and i am also reminded that in our tradition they said in blessings that uh, shatayu bhava that is uh, live up to 100 years and she, she uh, realized those blessings and also prime minister narendra modi is very close to the motherly uh, energy so he observes navratri and when he went to varanasi for the first time he says i didn't come uh, mother ganga has called me uh, taking a cue from that towards uh, the valley uh, decision of uh, the decision of monetization by supreme court uh, has come as a new year gift also in terms of uh, the prime minister modi's conviction uh, talk to uh, me about your impression the way uh, supreme court uh, upheld this well decision. i think um, the supreme court uh, <coughs> real assignment was to Uh, to figure it out whether demonetization was done was, uh, was legally done in a sense that in legal sense it was done properly or not and uh, that's a simple question and the answer to that is yes it was uh, done um, in uh, 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 <coughs> in 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 a uh, legally done in uh, uh, rules and regulations or constitution yes. and is constitutionally f- um, uh, supported by the whole decision because you know so before he declared the demonetization he uh, over 6 months he had a correspondence with the reserve bank of india as well as uh, uh, his uh, you know, very high level uh, economic advisors so i think uh, it was everything was done uh, legally and it was legal act so i'll just uh, recollect what uh, Uh, chidambaram ji said that uh, this was uh, just a unitary decision and uh, he didn't take uh, rbi into confidence and they wanted to project that he function in a way which is 
unconstitutional so till the verdict was out they were referring to that but once the verdict came out then they started talking about the after effects of demonetization etc there also people come up with different data that it is it has been good it succeeded in achieving uh, the aims for which uh, it it was initiated what do you see overall demonetization well i think uh, overall <coughs> it's very very hard to it's a big subject it's very complicated subject and uh, b- both side has some uh, validity to their argument but uh, who is right who is wrong it's it's a uh, subject for some other day discussion but today at least we know that uh, whatever uh, act of demonetization was legal was constitutionally supported and i think that's a <coughs> big victory for uh, uh, prime minister modi and his administration talking about uh, india under prime minister modi and uh, india's global impact uh, first time uh, foreign minister of india has uh, visited uh, certain countries uh, uh, that is considered uh, to be uh, a way also to project to turkey and pakistan about india's uh, stand uh, overall how do you see as we are moving and still ukraine russia are at logger heads and uh, uh well i think uh, we are moving i mean of course uh, we have to, i mean everyone has to keep moving according to their um, uh, responsibility and assignment and uh, unfortunately ukraine russia war is going on and it may even go on for a long time because both the parties are quite far apart uh, in uh, any kind of uh, uh compromise i mean yesterday as you saw that there are 100 uh, over 100 sol- russian soldiers were killed by one missile uh, th- thrown by ukraine so uh, i think uh, it's kind of uh, getting uh, not e- easy but it's getting difficult to come to some kind of conclusion uh, let's hope that um, cool mind will prevail someone will come up with some good ideas and some proposal so both a party can agree there are m- multiple uh, news which catch our eyes and uh, there is another instance where uh, illegal occupation on uh, railway platform and building of mazars and mosques and that is also uh, the talk of india uh, with the court saying that they should vacate uh, this particular railway station but government should provide them another space to live which is seen as a kind of encouraging uh, people to occupy illegally certain places but then some people said that humanly if thousands of people have made that their home how do you see this uh, particular issue well i mean it's again very sensitive and emotional issue and uh, because we are democracy because we are a uh, democracy based on the constitution and the constitution always says that everyone has a right to live right to eat right to you know so that that's why i think uh, uh, this argument goes on and i think uh, both sides are correct but uh, the government has to come up, doesn't matter which what gov- which government is on, in the power they have to come up with some kind of just like uh, government right now giving almost uh, 80 crore people uh, uh, daily uh, some kind of food uh, subsidy uh, because that's government kind of responsibility to make sure that their citizens should not go hungry and the same thing uh, is government responsibility to make sure that all citizens should uh, have shelter I mean as you can see here in New York City also there are a lot of hotels uh, is uh, rented by uh, city of New York to give the uh, homeless a shelter uh, I mean of course uh, the, some homeless prefer not to go to their hotel but that's a whole personal different subject and a psychiatric problem with those patients uh, or those people so i think government has uh, or um, in broad sense is government's responsibility to give the food to the people their own people and government responsibility to give shelter to the all the people 
and that's called democracy. And 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 that is in democracy, that is that is a kind of uh, expected to happen. So here I know it has both sides, but the way you are uh, putting it uh, would be unfair for people who are legally trying to take care of their needs of housing and other day-to-day -day expenses that so if what you are suggesting it is the responsibility of the government in democracy that makes it totally socialistic uh, pattern where uh, you go out of the way to sort of yeah but most of, most of the democracy is kind of uh, if you look at the world around most of the democracy even germany netherlands uh, most of the European countries are uh, a combination of both, um, uh, capitalist plus socialist. And some are more, some are less, but uh, there's always like that, and that's called democracy. Otherwise, if uh, only one per only government decides what, what is right and wrong, then the definition of the democracy becomes kind of no, no, different. It, yeah, no, but you follow certain structure of rules and regulations. Yeah, but rules and regulations. But, but if you, uh, again, uh, it's it's kind of uh, what is first chicken or eggs. I mean, they say that uh, because government did not provide us the job, that's why we are jobless and we don't have money to buy the house. I mean, it, that kind of thing. So, who is first? Who who is responsible first? And it's, it's an endless uh, discussion. But I think most of the democracy government has uh, has a kind of uh, uh, responsibility to provide uh, certain basic needs of the their citizens. Just like here in even USA, even though it's a rich country, still government provides enough uh, uh, welfare, enough unemployment benefits, enough uh, food subsidiary, enough of uh, everything. Uh, even uh, enough of uh, health insurance, and I'm sure uh, India also does that, and uh, and uh, so I think that's a part of the democracy. Mm. So I will not uh, go further on this, but I'll still mention. Let's say there are many homeless people in New York. If they go and occupy certain public place, it could be a park, it could be a railway station, something, and then it becomes a responsibility of the government that it has to provide them the housing it's something like that but uh, we move towards the other side which is related to law and order and uh, unfortunate instance in india uh, that you uh, must have also read 31st december night uh, one car dragged uh, an innocent girl for miles together and that instance is very very horrifying we don't know whether these boys were aware whether they have or they did it on purpose or you have read about it? Yes, yes. I think, uh, I mean, boy uh, has to be aware of it. Because even, uh, you know, we all drive car. And uh, when we drive car, even slightest of uh, uh, low, uh, even air in the f uh, tire, we can figure it out that there is something wrong because it makes certain noise. So, but again, unless uh, those boys are completely drunk, has, uh, out of uh, their uh, senses, then it can, they cannot uh, see whether somebody is there. But I think they drag her for three kilometers, not more than 500 feet or 1,000 feet. It's three kilometers. That's long road. And I'm surprised that even police in Delhi, uh, there's no checkpoint. I think everyone looks like everyone was uh, celebrating the New Year. Mm. And uh, that is a very sad thing, really. Because in big city like Bombay, New York, uh, Delhi, I think uh, police has to be very vigilant, particularly in the New Year, as you as we have here in uh, USA. If you look at in your EU, when if you are driving, you see police all over. So that's the way it should be. So that's definitely a very very sad uh, and shocking news uh, coming with the New Year. But as we move forward, we all try to uh, see what best we can do so that. We don't uh, have uh, anything uh, to prevent uh, us from manifesting our full potential and move towards success. So what is your tip uh, with that tip, uh, uh, your parting words? Well, uh, dear friends, uh, again, I would like to wish you happy and healthy New Year and very prosperous New Year. 
be uh, be uh, hard work uh, work hard be honest be be focus and always uh, help others respect others and do not forget those people who helped you while you are going up and if you do that then i think world will be a very pleasant place to live so again uh, happy healthy new year enjoy your uh, yourself enjoy uh, enjoy your family and and, and help uh, your uh, uh, community and as well as help mother india god bless america god bless india and god bless indian american thank you we'll see you next time till then